next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. We go inside Ladies the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Featherweight Division. It's who first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Big! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to corners, and not fight. You ready? This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fight on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. What a punch. Kick landed by this gentleman. Dig and kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent.
on his body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Big punch lands. Educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let's go. Big punch lands through the middle. Big head kick lands. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Fighters back to their feet here. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses there with the left. He lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Big kick lands. Pretty good right hand. Big leg kick land. Oh, that's a nice strike. Head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, home to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fight behind him. Punch over the top. Back and forth we go! Second round, straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Straight punch lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. 
Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked. Oh, big punch land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lands a big elbow there. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh! Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Unable to connect there. Massive head kick. Oh! Unable to connect with the left. Oh, big left. Superman punch lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Beautiful body kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, it always brings his hands right back to his face. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. Oh, oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Oh, straight right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big shot lands. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Let's go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Right punches there. coming. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice straight punch. He's able to slip the left there. Over and over, he's in a big body kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can point knee to the body. I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time.
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Counters with a straight hand here, and it lands. Nice job by Lou. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough an opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. It was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Punch is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, what a punch. Leg kick. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Slips. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Can't take many of those. You better check. How about that shin? You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, big knee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects with the punch. Nice straight right lands. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Able to check the high kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Left punch is true, now the right hand. What a body kick. Great punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Real sneaky body kick. Watch the shot. Visibly limping here. <laughs> Just out of range with that left hook. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. And it could very well be anyone's fight here.
Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Coming, it's blocked. Oh! Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, collar tie. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Oh, good head movement there. Nice play. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. That oh, big knee. knee. That knee hurt him. Just over three minutes to go now. Attempt there is blocked by the opponent. No! Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rim. Just an incredible result for him here, Tom. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 59 seconds of round number 4. Going to win it by knockout. Man. Marshall, there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations. The hood's still dangerous, goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie brothers. Do a pay me something.